Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we will discuss about botulism. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on i button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel my student support system. What is botulism? Human botulism is a serious but relatively rare disorder caused by a potent preformed toxin produced by a bacteria clostridium botulism it is the main cause of food poisoning so generally food poisoning is botulism normally whenever a client is suffering from food poisoning the main cause will be botulism types of botulism there are main three types of botulism food borne botulism wound botulism and intestinal botulism what are the causes of botulism botulism is caused by a bacteria that is clostridium botulinum which is an anaerobic road shaped spore forming bacteria this one that produces a protein with characteristic neurotoxicity and this is the toxin there are seven recognized type of clostridium botulinum out of them seven forms type a b e and sometime f and possibly g they cause human botulism food borne botulism is a severe intoxication resulting from ingestion of this toxin produced by botulinum bacteria means if food is contaminated with the toxin the client will be having food poisoning or food botulism what are the clinical manifestations of this disease main signs and symptoms of botulism are marked fatigue weakness and vertigo blurred vision dry mouth difficulty in swallowing speaking there will be vomiting diarrhea and sometime constipation also abdominal swelling may also occur neurological symptom include uh, paralysis of muscles and they descend through the body means first upper part will be affected then lower part shoulders will first affected and then upper arms lower arms thighs calves etc paralysis of breathing muscles can cause loss of breathing and even death unless assistance with breathing or mechanical ventilation in icu or ventilate through ventilators is provided then there is intestinal botulism and normally infants are affected so we also call it infant botulism which is which is rare but it may affect children below 1 year of age ingested spores germinate and produces bacteria that reproduce in the gut and release toxin clinical symptoms in infant include constipation difficulty in sucking and breathing loss of appetite weakness weak cry irritability and loss of head control wound botulism which is also a rare but may occur when the spores get into an open wound and reproduce in an anaerobic environment in the wound signs and symptoms are similar to the food borne botulism but may take up to 2 weeks to appear what diagnostic investigations can be done diagnosis of food borne botulism is made by identification of botulinum toxin in the serum stool gastric aspirate and the contaminated food and even through the culture of clostridium botulinum from gastric aspirate 
or stool in clinical cases. What treatment can be given? First is dilution of toxin is achieved. How? For the cases of foodborne botulinum, the digestive system is cleaned by inducing vomiting and giving the medications that increase the bowel movement so that the GIT is cleared as early as possible. For the patient having uh, botulism in the wound, the doctor may need to remove the infected tissue surgically. Then use of antitoxins is also effective. Antitoxin can not reverse the damage but it reduces the risk of complications. Antitoxin attaches itself with the toxin that is still circulating in the blood and keep it from harming the nerves. So that point can be prevented and even deaths can be prevented by use of antitoxins. Antibiotics are recommended for the treatment of wound botulism and in case of breathing difficulty, mechanical ventilation is also provided. What are the points by which we can prevent botulism or food poisoning? Good practice in food preparation means food hygiene is very good method of prevention. Refrigeration combined with control of salt and some uh, acidic environment will prevent growth or formulation of toxin and growth of bacteria. The patient's clothing must be removed and stored in plastic bags until it is washed with soap and water. The patient must shower thoroughly. Food and water samples associated with suspect cases or patient must be obtained immediately, stored in sealed container and sent for reference laboratory for examination. Reporting to the local health authority about the suspected and confirmed cases is also necessary in some countries. It helps in starting the control measures as early as possible to prevent spread of the disease. Thank you students for watching this video. You can subscribe the channel for latest updates on latest videos and you can like Facebook page. And for making your notes, you can visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.